friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. It is Monday morning and I'm in the Tim Hortons lineup here in town. I am getting a, the biggest, fattest, most delicious coffee ever. I don't have any more coffee at home, so I'm going to stop to a superstore on the way out to get some coffee pods because that's just not acceptable. But anyways, it was a really rough start to the morning. Well, not rough, but just thrown off. I slept in past my alarm. I remember shutting it off and looking at it and thinking, oh, I'll just lay here another five minutes and get up. I woke up at 7.44. Ridiculousness. I didn't go to bed till late, though, because um, Medea was working. And I had Evie and all that kind of stuff, so... <clears throat> I was tired, but luckily I had packed the kids' lunches yesterday. Oh, it's my turn. Just a minute. Son of a bee's nest. They're not taking the uh, electronic cards. you got to have cash, and I don't have any stinking cash on me. I'll go to the other Tim Hortons. Going out of town. It's just... They're working on the road so much right now. Like, they turn off to go to the highway and get off the highway, and sometimes you're waiting there for what seems like... 15 minutes. It's probably not 15 minutes, but that's what it feels like. I'd have to get off of that wait line to go into Superstore to come back out and still wait on that wait line, which I guess it's worth it. I just haven't even brushed my teeth. <laughs> it's that kind of day. But it is the very last day of school, or last week of school. The very last. I know I read some of your comments that you guys have been out of school for like a month or something. No, Argus goes from September to the end of June. And then off July and August. And we'll do stuff throughout those those months and stuff. Some day camps and whatnot. So anyways, I'll be back after I finally hunt down the coffee that I so require. And yeah, then we'll go into Superstore. Okay, I'm at the other Tim Hortons. Hopefully... They're taking bank cards and stuff, so. Yeah, Evie's coming over tonight. His mama works from 5 to 12. I don't know what I'm going to do for supper. And Mace was supposed to go to school today, but he was up so much last night. I'm just letting him sleep. And being such a rushed morning, I he's still home sleeping. My husband's home sleeping. My teenager is home sleeping. Today is his very last day and he has everything done except one assignment that needs to be submitted by 9.20 in the morning and I just woke him up to submit it. He did it and he did a really good job at it and then he's officially all done. He doesn't have to go the rest of this week. So that's exciting for him but the plan for him is to bring him into the police station because he has to get a current criminal records check. you got to do this with just about every job anyways. So he can go to work this summer, and he'll probably work at the base camp, the Cornwallis, you know, like the youth cadet camp kitchens is what he's been doing the past couple of years. Gets good hours, gets fairly good money, um, and he's almost guaranteed the position because they're always looking for people there and stuff. So I think um, I think that's what he's going to do this year too. So. Oh good, I don't see a big white piece of paper stuck to the speaker, so I'm going to order my coffee. Alright, I got my coffee. I'm just parked into the Superstore parking lot. It's all the same parking lot, like Tim Hortons and Walmart and Superstore the store are all like the same turn off. And I need to have a sip of this before I go in there. I just have to. Oh, it's good and hot. Mmm. Yes. Anyways, it's a beautiful day out. Mally's going on a field trip with her class. The girls went last week. I know I missed so many days filming. One day turned into two days and three days and four days and then it was a week. And I just got so wrapped up with everything. That's just how it goes. But then, yeah, I had I was fed up. <laughs> I missed you guys and I needed to get back on track. So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, last week, Misha and Messiah went on a class trip together because some classes go at the same time went to a splash pad up the valley which is like an outdoor playground with sprinklers but Mally's going to a campground where they have a slip and slide and a pool and things like that so yeah I guess lunch is provided but you pack snacks so whenever the kids go on a field trip I always pack lots of extra snacks and Mally loves beef jerky so I bought her a big bag of well a bag of beef jerky Got her a bottle of pop. I don't usually buy pop, but I did. And some nibs. She likes those. Blech. 
and uh, then some other, like, uh, I, my husband cut up a big watermelon yesterday, and I put it all in little sandwich bags, so they're all in the fridge. If the kids want one, they can go get them. I put two pieces in each of the kids' lunch this morning. Anyways, I need to stop jabbering and go in there and get uh, get a box of coffee. Alright, there's the superstore. They have all their plants and stuff outside. Have the radio plan. All the little garden centers and stores are all outside now. Oh, boy. Canada Day, July 1st is coming up, which is very exciting. I don't think I even need... Well, maybe I'll get one of those little carts. I always think I'm just buying one or two things, but I can't help but put another three or four things in there. All right, guys, it's 928. I just got home. I'll show you quickly what I picked up. I went in there for coffee, but yeah, as you can see, I got more stuff. This salad was 50% off. I thought the kids could have it for supper. Um, regular $13.99. These were 50% off. I don't generally buy juice, but I thought it could go nice because we're going to have hamburgers, salad, and some lemonade to go with it. So yeah, you can see I bought two things of hamburger buns. I'm not in the mood to make my own. So yeah, I've seen these. I bought these a long time ago before. They're kind of expensive really, but they're like apple slices already pre-packaged and they stay nice and crisp. So I bought three packs that'll last this week's school lunches, last of the school lunches. And yeah, something a little more nutritious than sometimes you know the lunch snacks and stuff that are out there these were on sale we don't have these a whole lot but they were $6.99 I got one box I thought that could be a supper sometime this week uh, these were two for five dollars um, I just thought for lunch is something different I don't generally get those but something different this is the beloved coffee I got two things of yogurt drinks one is strawberry and one is vanilla got a bag of pizza bites just for a reserve in the freezer if they're hungry zap them in the microwave and they're done um, two things a hamburger for the hamburgers I'm gonna make tonight and a box of waffles so that's what I got I'm gonna put this stuff away and carry on with my day all right I just put a little laundry in went around the house and picked up loose towels and stuff but now I'm gonna empty this dishwasher so I can pick up any dirty dishes and get that taken care of I did take out two of these packages of hot sausages so we can make something with them if not today tomorrow my husband might make cabbage and sausage or something I was just making room in the freezer for those waffles guys it's 10 30 I have a load of laundry here to hang out but I forgot to put my clothes pins in the shop and it was rainy the past couple of days. I mean, it was nice yesterday for most of the day, but then it rained the day before that. And this is what happens. My friggin' basket of clothespins is filled up with water. Luckily, it's just water. But I need to get a basket that has holes in the bottom, like a strainer or something. Jeepers. All right. I put, um, like, the socks and face cloths and stuff. In a separate basket in the house I'm gonna dry when I get done my other load of laundry that's going now and then I'll hang out the big stuff that is in the washer now on this line and I'll be all caught up so very good very good 12 after 11 I think I'm gonna do up those patties now I just put those two packages of hamburger in there I'm gonna add some garlic powder onion powder salt and pepper and just do up the patties so they'll be ready to rock when my husband gets home all right, there they are. Maze was keeping me company. Say hi, Maze. Hi, cock a doo doo doo. <laughs> you silly boy. So yeah, I have two layers, like I just put there. So there's enough hamburgers for everybody to have one or two, and they'll have that salad and lemonade to go with it. Does that sound good, Maze? Don't touch. Does that sound good? No. No. What do you like on your hamburgers? Cranberries. You're just full of beans today. No. Do you like pickles? No. Ketchup? Yeah. Cheese? Lettuce? Tomato? No, let me do it. Okay. So ketchup and mustard? No. No. I'm not gonna do anymore. Okay. <laughs> do it if you do. All right, I won't say anything. What do you like on your hamburgers? 
so ketchup and well, lettuce. Yeah. And cucumber. Really? Okay. And pickle. Oh, that but sounds yummy. That's all. Yeah. All right. I'm going to wrap this up and put it in the fridge. All right, there's load number two. My clothesline's just about full. There's just a little bit here, but I'm all done uh, washing for today. I'll wait for these to dry, and I have a couple of baskets in there to fold already. So, yeah, that's pretty good, and it's not even... Well, it's almost lunchtime, 11.49. All right, guys, I just got done folding the laundry that I had to fold. I'm rolling up that sleeping bag I washed and hung out uh, yesterday. My husband went on a four-wheeler camping trip this weekend, so that was the sleeping bag he used. But yeah, the piles, they're not great big piles. Um, I'll put, you know, some of the stuff away. The girls' piles, they can put away when they get home. But yeah, at least that's done. Now it's just the stuff on the line waiting. Guys, it's 3.30. I came out because my kids are in there ravenous. They got home from school and they're in there eating cereal and eating this and that. And I said, I'll go make supper. My husband's not home yet. Um, he was going to do this part, but I'll do it. Or at least I'll get it going. So, um, yeah, they can have a proper supper. And uh, not fill themselves up with a bunch of junk. Got them all on except for two. So I'm going to wrap the other ones up and put them in the fridge. Because there's enough here for these guys for supper anyways. And uh, I'm just going to turn the burner down on low and keep an eye on it because, yeah, it's still kind of early. Actually, I ended up putting the other two right there. And, yeah, they'll do their thing. I'm going to go take the clothes off the line now, have the basket here. Those should be good and dry. And, yeah, listen to the birds chirp. All right, I got that laundry in except for two pairs of pants. They were just a little tiny bit damp around the front pocket so I'll leave them out a little longer. I haven't flipped these yet. Ah, it's smoky. <laughs> but I don't want to flip them too early or they'll fall apart. It's just the grease dripping down a little bit but yeah it's smelling good. Oh I got my sun glasses on. I just flipped the burgers and I'm just gonna sit out here. I won't bother going in and out and in and out. My husband's still not home. I need to go get Medea, pick her up around 4.30 because she works for 5 and then I'll bring Evie back here until she's done work and yeah. Mally had fun on her field trip she said. They had like a slip and slide there and I don't know. It went down into a mud pit and stuff so I can just imagine the fun they had. But yeah, oh what a beautiful day. It's, it's warm but not as warm as some of the other days so there's a nice fresh fresh breeze. I'm enjoying this temperature for sure. So anyway, sizzle sizzle. That's all I can hear now. The occasional occasional little bird chirp. All right, I'm doing a different tactic now. They're nice and grilled on the outside, but I know they're still red on the inside. So I shut the heat off this side and blasted it on that side. So like the indirect heat method. And that way I don't have to fight all the smoke and stuff that I was doing earlier. All right, there's the burgers all done and ready to be uh, assembled. They're looking good. All right, guys. Well, I just got back from bringing the day to work. It's 4.54. I got a little fuss budget in here. Look how dirty he is. That just means he had a whole lot of fun outside today. I got there. He's outside playing. And, yeah, he's going to need a dunk, but I think he's kind of sleepy, too. Are you sleepy, Evie? Can you say hi, Evie? These guys missed you. Say hi. Yeah, I'll get you out. I'll get you out. Yeah, that's a sperm whale. I'm just here with these two munchkins. We just put Evie to bed. And it's Misha's turn to pick something. She likes to watch those animal documentaries on Netflix. Like the... Well, you guys will be going to bed soon. Yeah. But yeah. we always watch animal stuff with Misha. She likes that kind of thing. Could be this one's about under the ocean called Deep. I don't know, planet something. Deep sea. 
So that's what we're doing. It's 8.22. Mally and Mazai are upstairs playing. and Roblox. My teenager has his gal pal over. And my husband went on his motorcycle. And yeah, we're just chilling. We're a bunch of villains, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> well, alright guys, it is 8.49. I'm just telling the kids to start getting ready for bed. They're still, still down there watching that Planet Earth the deep sea one. Uh, they're freaking out about all the cool fish that live at the bottom of the sea, all the little monster looking creatures and critters and stuff. It's pretty fascinating what this world has to offer. Not that I would ever want to come face to face with some of those things down there, but they're beautiful. It all just depends on the eye of the beholder, right? So anyways, guys, I know this wasn't a big exciting video, but it feels good to kind of be back on track. This is the very last week of school. Um, tomorrow, I only have to pack a lunch for Misha because both Mally and Maziah have pizza parties at school. So hip hip hooray for them. Hip hip hooray for me. I'll just put a couple extra treats in Misha's lunch. Just, you know, so she's not left out of the fun, I guess. <laughs> I haven't made them yet. But the burgers were a hit and the salad. There's still salad left over. I'll probably put some salad in uh, Misha's lunch. She likes salad. And it'll just be easy peasy. So, all right, guys. Well, I did write a note this afternoon. Um, hopefully, you've seen it. It's on the community post on my channel. Check it out if, you, if you're if you interested. But with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. And I just want to say again, I love you all so much. You're all very dear to my heart. You really, really are. So, all right, guys, with that, I'll say have a good night or have a good morning. And I'll see you in the morning. Bye.